EU legislation works in two ways uh, in terms of the way it influences our choices about the environment in the UK. And that's on the basis that the UK has some pretty challenging environmental circumstances because of the legacy of the Industrial Revolution. Britain, uh, the UK, has the centre and the earliest uh, uh, nation to industrialise. EU law influences things in two ways. It's a constant pressure on the UK government not to slide back and allow things to drift. So it's always there. It it's provides, a, if you like, a safety net for the environment. And we, we operate our own legislation, usually within that kind of framework, to, to, to uh, uh, improve the state of our rivers. We still have some serious challenges with the state of our rivers, I should say. Um, so that's the first thing, that constant pressure on government and government agencies to, to, to do more uh, and certainly not to do less. Um, the second way in which it operates is it provides a level playing field across Europe. So it ensures that everybody is spending some money on the environment and people can't get away by saying, no, we're not going to do that because if we do that it's too expensive and all our goods will be too expensive to sell and so on. So it's a level playing field. Everybody recognises they need to spend something and that level playing field, common legislation across Europe is, is helpful in that regard.